We'd like to welcome Ludwig Oberg to the interview room here at the Genesis Invitational. Ludwig, you're making your first start here. Just some opening comments on what it's like to be here in the course. Uh, yeah, obviously first time here, but um, I was just talking to some people and the golf course is so cool because it's very, very simple and it's very straightforward, but still very difficult. So I love these old school properties where they don't take up a ton of space, um, but you get that historic feeling and uh, it's really cool. Awesome. And you're making your fifth start of the season. You're coming off of a runner-up finish at the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Can we just get some comments and remarks on the start of your season? Uh, yeah. No, it's been great. Um, obviously, you know, we did some changes, got Joe on the bag this year, which has been unbelievable, and he's helped me a ton. So those first couple of tournaments, it's, it's always going to be a little bit difficult kind of getting to know each other, but I think it's been great. And then obviously played um, Tori and Pebble and felt like I was playing great. Um, obviously the weather didn't quite cooperate at, at Pebble, but uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit better this week. Um, but looking forward to, uh, to the rest of the season. With that, we'll open it up to questions. If you can just raise your hand, we'll get a microphone. Oh, we'll start with Jeff over here on the uh, left. Ludwig, just so you've, you've never been here until this week, right? Correct. Uh, do you have much experience with uh, Kikuya grass? Obviously, you played some Poe at Pebble. Mm -hmm. uh, not a ton on the, on the Kikuya grass, to be honest. The Poen, I'm pretty used to. We got that in Sweden. So. No. Um, and then, obviously, last couple of weeks as well. But it's a little bit different. It, it takes a few different, you know, kind of techniques and short game shots. But... Um, obviously, it's, that's one of the cool things about playing on the PGA Tour is that you get exposed to so many different, you know, grass types and, and you know, speeds and lengths. So it's, it's really fun for me to kind of experience that and, and, you know, kind of find my way around that. And how do you approach a golf course you haven't played before in terms of research or preparation and getting to kind of figure out where everything is and how it plays? Uh, yeah, I mean, I got people around me that help me with that. Um, obviously, a lot of these tournaments that I'm playing at the moment are the first time I'm playing it, so I haven't really seen the golf courses, um, which is it was just a challenge. But, um, you know, I, I trust the Sats guys. I trust my caddy, and, and they kind of hit it here and hit it there, and I'll try to do that. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, no, it's been great. Um, and, obviously, I've seen these golf courses so many times on TV. So a few of these holes I kind of know a little bit about. Um, but uh, it's pretty cool. We'll go to Sean next over here on the right. Oh, what was it like waiting around in Pebble, realizing slowly that you're not going to have a chance to play the final round and win? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, it was uh, – we were sitting – We I was with my mom that week. We had a house, and we were just north of – Carmel, and, and we were kind of sitting in the house, and trees were like falling all around us. We were almost a little bit like trying to make sure that we weren't getting hit by the trees, but uh, obviously it was, it was quite unfortunate. I felt like I was playing pretty well, but obviously the way that Wyndham finished uh, shooting 60, I mean, you can't really just tip your hat to that, and, and good job. So a little bit unfortunate. I was looking forward to playing, but it is what it is, and hopefully we'll uh, have more of those opportunities in the future. We'll go over here to the left to Dan. I've heard some disturbing rumors that you're a Liverpool fan. <laughs> yeah. So as, uh, as a Liverpool fan, you must be pretty excited then about, about Fenway Sports Group coming in. Yeah. Are you going to use, uh, use that access to maybe have <laughs> some say in some transfers? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, obviously a couple of weeks ago I was pretty devastated when Klopp said he was going to leave. Um, it was one of the worst days of my life. So, But, yeah, obviously it's pretty cool. Um, they've done a tremendous job at Liverpool, and I know they're going to do the same here on the PG Tour. And then, you know, kind of segueing into a kind of a more serious question is, you are a rookie at a very interesting time for the PGA Tour. How, how have you dealt with all of the, the constant shifting on what, what tournaments you're going to be playing in and what the future's going to look like? How have you dealt with all the noise in, the, in your brief career so far? Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, I try not to pay that much attention to it. Um, all of this is still very new to me, and I... I haven't known anything else since I came out here. Uh, I actually remember my first day at Canada last year was when they when they dropped the news of the merger. So I, I just don't know anything else, and I try not to pay that much attention to it. Um, I just try to play golf um, and then figure it out from there. Any other questions? For, we'll go back to Sean over here on the right. Yeah, you know, when you look at the results, your career as a professional, there hasn't really been that much of a blip. It's been a lot of success, but maybe behind the scenes, has there been anything that you've struggled with in particular, turning pro? Um, 
I mean, I think you're always going to have small struggles, whether what level you play at. Um, obviously, there's a lot to get to get used to playing on playing on the PGA Tour compared to college. I think the amount of golf that you play is a little bit different. Uh, you play a lot more golf here, and it took some time for me to get used to that. Um, you don't really have the time to spend hours on the range, and you get get a little bit more efficient with your practice and with your play. So, I think that was probably the thing that. I wouldn't necessarily say I struggled with, but it was just it took some time to get used to. Um, but uh, but no, I, th I think you know obviously it's been great. I love it, and uh, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. Has there been an, anything in the last six months or so that you've been a pro that has really surprised you? Um, I was very fortunate to be able to play a few of these events before I turned pro. So. I felt like I got pretty exposed to it uh, when, when I was still in school. So I wouldn't say there was anything that really, you know, came as a surprise. I think it was just obviously it's so much fun and, and I love it and uh, I will want to do this for a very long time. Awesome. Looks like that's a wrap on questions. Ludwig, appreciate the time. Good luck this week. Thank you.